remember how to read this counter over here? Okay, so, ocha is ni ho ni ni pai. Ah, hi, ni hi. Ni hi. Milk ipai. Perfect. Uh, what is the imperative form of this kanji, this word? The imperative. You better. Imperative. You do it. Okay. So it's te tabero. Hi, tabero. Perfect. Tabero. Nice. Um, and then we have nobody still talking. What does he say? He say, sasa. Tabero. Washimo. Washimo. Mo. Ipai. Chao. Nom. Okay, so what is it? It's a sound effect Sasa. for be speedy. Sasato. 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 Be quick. Being speedy. Hi. E quick, um, I more. I also already. Ipai. I also more meaning one more. O cha o no I also drink one more tea. Hi. Is that what he said? Yep. I will drink one more thing of tea, which in English we probably would say like glass or a cup or something like that would be our counter. Um, but what would this tabero part? Tatato tabero. Eat, eat in the imperative form. You Hi. eat quick. You eat quickly. I as well will have one more glass of um tea. One more cup of tea. Um. One more cup of tea. I felt like you knew all that kanji. You knew all that kanji, so I just skipped that. Um can you read this word for me? Matomeru. Hi. So matomeru means to collect. Um it can also be used if you want to put your hair up in like a ponytail. This is the same verb for that, to collect all your hair. But it in this context it's just the collect in general, I believe. Matomeru. This is a do verb. Um, can you read this word for me? Nimono. Good guess. Nimono. In this case, it's actually nimotsu. the motu reading. Hi, nimotu. Nimotu is a pretty common word to be taught in most Japanese classes. Like in Genki, it's like in the first couple of lessons. Do you have to know what nimotu is? The thing you carry, luggages. Yes, luggage. Perfect. Um, do you remember what matomeru meant? Matomeru? Hi. To cover? Yep, to collect. To collect. What is matomeru in ta form? Matometa. Perfect. This word right here ends with motu. What did it start with, this luggage word? Kamotsu? Good guess. It's actually ni. I can see why you'd guess ka, because it looks like nani. But it's just ni. Ni motu. Ni motu. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Benetto wa ni motu o matometa. Benet collects. The luggage. Perfect. You know what shibatsu means? Shibatsu. Shibatsu. It's to depart. Perfect. Departure. Um, so oku is a verb we've seen many times, and it means basically like should do. Right? Should do in advance. Do you know how to put this into imperative form, that order form? Mm. Oko, 
Good guess. That's actually volational form. Um, imperative form for u verbs is actually adding e, unlike with ru verb, which adds ro. I don't know why I wrote ru there. Ro. So this actually becomes oke. Which sounds weird on its own. Oke. Okay. Like bucket. But as you can see right here, we have an oke going on because he's saying you ought to do, we ought to do this in an order way. You I have a good question, Martin. I you know how I heard a song, it say, ikinaide. Ikinaide. So is the imperative and the negative, right? Iki as in to go, nai, not, de as being command or imperative, know, saying don't go. go. Yeah, I wonder how that grammar it? actually comes from. It does mean that to not go ikinaide. I, like, I knew what that meant, but I was like, huh. There's, it's probably not spelled like this, I would bet, weirdly enough, because iku so, would probably be ikanaide, right? That'd be normal. Ikanaide. Uh, what you'd assume it would be? Maybe it is ikanaide. 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 But I, that's ka I, and anai. Ikanaide. Uh, so, so you say that the u or the ku verb Hi. imperative is Okay. That's so, why I'm thinking so about te form, in the negative, it would be... Pass. So te form is a generic order. So you might say, matte to mean wait. However, rather than saying matte, you can also use imperative form. Matsu is more like you better do something. So you'll hear that like, gambare, for example. Rather than, gambate, you'll hear both of those when people cheer for people. But gabatte is literally just, you try your best. Gambare is more like, you better try your best. Do it. Woo, gambare. So that, that, those are both ways to order people in Japanese. So with this right here, that becomes te. Without the glottal stop. So, matte, wait, and matte. So, so the, the, both, so something that can look similar, but um, those are two different ways to order people around. Imperative form and um pet form real quick money so okay. if i hear something that had the o at the end like ikko, go go like, is that also in, an imperative so ikko is called volational form this is adding o to the end of something and this is actually not an order um o is instead sometimes called let's in Jap in like Genki, I believe it's called let's, but it's actually it's I'm going to is what it means. So iko means like I'm going to go is what it means. And it's used sometimes if you say it out loud to invite someone to go with you. Like I'm gonna go. You wanna come as well, basically. So that's why sometimes it's taught as let's go, but it doesn't need to invite anybody. It just means that I, whoever is talking, is planning on this action occurring. Let's go. Iko, I'm going to go. So that is not mm. an order. So mm. when I hear volational, it, I think it means a, I volunteer as tribute. Oh, it sometimes have a sense of inv inviting, Hi. but it's not commanding. It's not exactly. It's not telling you have to I, do the eco. You don't yeah. have to go. Exactly. This, this is go, very so common in go. English as well, especially for females. We might say, I'm going to the bathroom. And that is an invitation for another female friend to come with them, you know, powder their nose and things like that. But I'm saying, come to the bathroom with me. That's very aggressive. Like, oh, going to beat me up in there or something? Steal my money? versus mm -hmm. so that that's a similar thing we do at least females do in english to um have that so i'm planning on doing something perhaps you come as well if i say it out loud i'm going that makes sense at work people say i'm gonna i'm gonna get coffee you want to come with yeah exactly you but, want to come with yeah so that's what that old form is like okay so now we have Nebri and what does he say? <laughs> Nebri so ste benetto ni 
、そして、mean、like、right afterward, right? はい。following that kind of a feel. はい。Um, むかって、むかっていた、never return towards Bennett, and he say, uh, にもつをまとめて、OK。You should collect your things, your baggages.、Right. In this case, I would say it's our luggage. Perhaps my luggage. Our luggage. But that is 100% context b a k e s It just says collect the luggage, right? It doesn't say who it belongs to. Like the luggage. Hi. Hi. Makes sense. And then, Sugu ni supatsu suru. Quickly,、um, supatsu suru. Quickly depart. Yeah. We will be quickly departing. Hi. Probably wants the kozo eat some food. Nice. Next line. I got unazuku. That one's a hard one. Ooh. That. That. Sugu ni tsupatsu suru. In that short sentence, there were no explicit、uh, subjects. So we are assuming that. Nobody is saying, I'm going to depart quickly, or、right. we are going to depart quick, quickly. Because、yes. he's talking to his bodyguard. Mm, mm. We're leaving soon. Yes. Implied subject. We're、yeah. leaving, leaving soon. Benetto wa unatsuki. Unatsuki is the verb that I'm having trouble with, which so, is so. nodding. Hi, He perfect. You remembered it. And I finally remembered it. Unatsuki.、Um, Kaidan o nobote ita. Okay, so nobote is to climb. Hi. Ita is iku. Hi. Yeah, yes. Yep, b a n e t t e is leaving the room. But then went up the stair or went out. Hi. Up the stair. Hi. So theoretically, you could use kudu here. But if you said kita, with, but you can't have kita past tense, because that would mean that Banette already went to get the luggage and came back. But theoretically, you could have nobote kudu、uh, or kite or something like that to mean he's going to go get the luggage. But here we wanted it, the main character wanted to say the sentence in past tense. So they had to use Ita because he's leaving the room currently and did not come back throughout this whole action. So if they said, Nabote kita, that would mean Bennett left, went up the room, and then came back. Wait, never mind. I was thinking about first person. Ignore that. This is third person. <laughs> that, that would be if、uh, nobody told Khan to grab the luggage. Never mind. Do that what I said. In this in case, it, it simply. <laughs> yep. In this case, simply mean that b a n e t t e nodded and he left. Yep, he left. He went away、right? from wherever、yes. the kid is. <laughs> yeah. Went further away.、Um, do you know what this word is? Nimotsu. Hi, luggage. Perfect. Do you know this word? Mm, no, 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 Close. no, 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 Teno Hirani no seta, Mado Seki. To sit? Yeah, it to is basically to sit. To basically to be in something, like the be placed somewhere, but you're not really focusing on the who did the placing. So it's like sit is a good way, which is weird because English is weird with their word sit. 
my phone is sitting on the table. That's not sit down, <laughs> but it's not so <laughs> That is so weird. But yeah, it's the to have been placed kind of. Mm. It's sitting there. Wait, um, a person sitting on a chair, we can use so that word no seta, right? Because that's that. Uh, kind of. You could do no seta uh, if you're not focusing on the fact they're sitting, but the fact that they're sitting in the stage. <laughs> For, for for example, if you're like, it's like perch. That's what that's like perch. So if you have like someone in like a little kid mm. sitting on someone's shoulder, you probably use nosita versus swata. Swata feels very much like sitting in a chair or something like that. So this is more like perched or on something. So it's not focusing on the physical sitting um, position and more on the location where you're at. So theoretically, you could right. use nosita and be standing. You don't need to be sitting with nosita. Like if a giant picked you up and placed you on a rock, then you'd be nosita on the rock. <laughs> set oh, there. that makes sense. So I guess it's like to be set. You set. Right. Set. Perfect translation. Um, here's another kanji that we've seen before, but this is our first time having to know how to read it. Do you happen to recognize it? means to carry. Mm, this one is hard. Okay. Mm, it's, I remember it's undo in undo. It does look a lot like undo, like ugoku. ugoku. Um, but it is actually a different kanji. This is um, undo. Uh, let's see. It is actually the un of undo movement. Um, anyway, on its own, though, it's hakobu. Hakobu. Sakobu. Ha. Hakobu. Right. Hakobu to carry. Ha. Can you read this little section Hakobu. for me? Hai. Sara o hakonde kite. Right. He brings the plate carries the plate towards us. Perfect. Do you know what katai means? This little e adjective. This is an adjective meaning right. hard. Something Perfect. is hard. It is hard. Solid. Hi, hi, hi. And we're going to be seen as katakunatta, which is to become hard. So let's go read the line from the book. Shoku do no Shujin ga sa no 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 kori no kataku natta. O kino. Kino no no ri no kataku natta. Ma fin to isho ni no kori mo no. O sara ni no sete hakonde kita. Hi. So the shujin, he konde kita with a sara ni no seta sono mono. The shujin ga he no konde kita, the owner he carries towards us. No sete. The um. What did he carries over? He carries over the leftovers. Um. Hakur. Uh. No. Uh. No. No. No ki. No. No ko. No kori. So he carries over the no kori. Together with the muffins. So, the muffins, the nokori, what else? Uh, hi, uh, so you the got, muffins you got, that were this. Is it just leftovers in general along with the muffin? And what happened to this muffin? Do you know? Yeah. This muffin is kutakunata. It <laughs> became hard. Why do you think it's hard? Katakunata. 
because it say here kino no no kori no it was the leftover muffins Hi. that became hard from so, yesterday so. so theoretically you could just say this but he want he wanted to be like wow muffins so we have the leftovers from yesterday along with the muffin that was also a leftover from yesterday but the muffin he was his eyes locked on that muffin basically <laughs> The muffin leftover and other mm -hmm. leftovers as well. The muffin was really important. Where uh, were these leftovers located? All of that. It's located at Sarani. So, so. No yep. that. All of that was no that at Sarani. Right. Um, or all of that was set in place. And and also bring over towards us. Hi. So the so innkeeper. This three, this three, I want Monty, can I clarify here? So yes. there's three actions that being done by the Sujin. First, sure there's only he two. Sete. Then he nonde. Then he kita. Hi, hi, hi. Uh you could separate it that right. way. This is Kita is kind of modifying Hakobu, saying how he Hakobu. He carried it toward me rather than saying he carried and he came toward me. So Kita is more modifying Hakobu than really being a separate thing. Oh, but it's so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I some something just went off in my mind just now. Right. It it. It's funny because you say modify because for me it always felt it felt to me as if Japanese grammar had always been such a forward driving motion you know everything is like modifying the thing that come after it and then the thing that come after it and it's like a long change mm -hmm. of links right yeah and then suddenly this kita is doing it backward hi in a way kita is kind of like a, a particle though particles do that same thing they modify what comes before it I think about it like that. Oh. I think about it. Okay, so you're right. It acts like a particle. Okay, makes sense. Hi. Oh. Ah, my headphones Hello, I'm back. Uh, I'm just going to summarize this sentence for you because I'm sure you know it, but just double checking. We got the owner, I mean, the innkeeper of the inn. And he um, had set stuff on the plate. The things he set were leftovers. Specifically, there was a muffin that was super duper hard from yesterday, along with other random leftovers. And this plate that he had set those leftovers on, he carried them toward the main character. Uh, next word, nudu. Hi. Now, nudu, I do think is our first time seeing nudu. This is to paint. Or to spread. To paint. So it's to not spread. paint as in necessarily using paint, but you can use this verb to use to mean painting. It's more of the physical action you use to paint. So that's why spreading also works. So if you're painting with a paintbrush or you're painting with your knife and butter, both um, work. So that it's the physical holding the thingy and like smoothing it across something right that physical movement hi um what was the spreading word again nudu. hi 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 um what is the te form of nudu nudu so it's nudu with the glottal hi. stop nudu. perfect with a little glottal stop hasame is to be in between, like sandwiched between two things. Mm, to squish. squish. Hi. It doesn't necessarily have to be squished, but it could be. So, for example, a bookmark is not necessarily being squished if you put it in a book, but it definitely is as hasamud if it's in a book. So, so it is like kind of squished, but it's not necessarily having the be squish. Right, it just needs to be in between. So in between pages, in between your hands. So you don't need to squish your sandwich to have lettuce in it, right? 
have the lettuce all hasamud in the sandwich. Um, anyway, let's go read this example sentence. Hi, muffin ni jamu o nutta. Hi. So I spread the jam onto the muffin. Perfect. Nice. And here's our last sentence of the day. Let's go read it. Ore wa muffin ni jamu o nuri. Cheese o hasande kaburi suita. The first portion I understand. Uh -huh. I spread the jam on the muffin. Hi. Then the second portion. The action is described as hasande with hasan. Right. So we say that hasamu. So it means he kind of stuck in some cheese in between the muffin. So perhaps he got, you know, sometimes he'll cut a muffin in half. I would assume rather than taking a muff, like a beautiful muffin and just taking some jam and putting it on top of it, he probably has a muffin that's been cut in half. Right? That's still one muffin, but it's been, you know, cut like that muffin. Um, and he spread some jam in here and they took some cheese and hasand it in between it. So sounds gross, but someone told me it's delicious. So gotta, gotta try it to, he to in, believe it. He, he inserted in a way. Okay. He, yes. he in between the cheese. Uh, no. The and cheese, then he. The cheese is inside, and most likely the muffin is on either side. So if you cut the muffin so that there's like a hole in the muffin, there's a slot that you can stick cheese and jam. Right? Mm. If you eat a lot of muffins, you, you know what I'm talking about. You cut, you cut the muffin in half <laughs> when you're adding jam to it. I wonder, do people ever cheese like... Cheese on a <laughs> And then after he has found this, never... he, he kaburi tukud this. <laughs> they must have referring to an English muffin. Toast. And that an English muffin is like a piece of toast or bread. Oh, that, that is <laughs> or no. You do this with normal muffins as well. Like, for example, if you have banana bread <laughs> muffins, uh, a lot of times my mom will cut it in half and then put butter. Put some butter in there. It's nice when you nudie some butter in the middle of the banana bread. It's, you don't you don't layer it on top of the muffin. You cut it in half, to lay there in the middle. Oh. But it is it is possible. It might not. They might be talking about an English muffin. But I was picturing a nice, <laughs> like a nice muffin. <laughs> so both both do to some extent make sense. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, okay. kind of muffin. So <laughs> after the hasande, hi, hi. then the following is kaburi hi. suita. Hi. Ah, kaburi is to bite. Hi, hi. And Super suita sweet. is to attach. Yes. So I attach my bite onto the muffins. Yep, I <laughs> bite into something. Perfect. Ooh, yeah. Sounds delicious. This action is marked by the same knee. Muffin I, knee. I can yeah. literally say muffin knee. Kab. Hi, hi. Kab booty suita. Hi, 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 hi. 